Are you looking to stream on TikTok but don't have a stream key? Well, then this video is for you. My name is Josh Barracks, and today I'm going to be going over how you can stream like the pros on TikTok but don't need the TikTok stream key itself. I streamed like this for months before I got my TikTok stream key, and I get a lot of people asking me how I did it, so I thought I'd make this video. This will allow you to stream on TikTok with the vertical angle with the camera and the gameplay, but and also be live on Twitch at the same time, okay? Um, but before we do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Nodi Gang. If you guys want to be featured in the next Nodi Gang shout out, make sure to like the video, subscribe, ring the bell, and comment Nodi Gang below. Okay, guys, before I show you how to stream on TikTok without a stream key, I do want to give a quick disclaimer regarding performance and hardware. I do have a two PC setup, one that has an i9, a 2080, and a bunch of memory, and the other stream PC here has like an i7 and uh, like a 1080 Ti. Not, not the best stuff here, but it allows me to just stream on this one. Uh, on TikTok and Twitch, and then game on this one. However, you don't necessarily need this. I know a guy who has like, I think he has the Ryzen 50. I, I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but uh, he has a decent CPU, and he does Twitch, TikTok, and COD Warzone all on the same rig. It's a little stressful, I think, for him, but it is possible. Um, so I would just like look into the requirements of everything that I'm going to show you just so you know exactly what you're going to need. Leave in the comment section below what you have. And maybe we can help you out. We have like a whole tech channel in my discord that maybe could help you guys out. We'll have that uh, discord link in the description of this video. Okay, guys, now that we've got the performance requirements out of the way, let's jump into exactly how you stream on TikTok without a stream key. Now, what you see on your screen now is my gaming PC, so we're going to switch this over to my streaming PC. This computer is dedicated just to my Twitch and TikTok streams, as well as like Spotify and stuff. Um, it does, again, you don't need two PCs, but this is just how I have it set up. Um, I do have a traditional OBS here. This is like what I use for recording content and uh, streaming on Twitch. And so if you are, if you're like me and you stream already, you're, you're already going to have this. If you don't stream on Twitch currently, then just ignore this section. But this is mine. We are going to download a brand new OBS. Now, some of you guys may be thinking, I thought you could only have one OBS up at a time. And so that I would say you're right. That that's traditionally how it works. But with the way I'm going to have you set it up, you're going to have two OBS iterations open simultaneously that look like this. So this is my second OBS. It's completely different. You can see on your taskbar here. Um, this is my Twitch and recording, and this is just for TikTok. I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can get this second iteration going and then how I set it up, okay? So first, let's just get it downloaded. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to obsproject.com, uh, select Windows. And if you guys need to pause this at any time, please do. obsproject.com, select Windows. That's going to bring you to the download section. I think you actually have to click download once you select the kind of thing you want. Um, which is Windows for me and most people. And instead of the downloading installer, which is traditional, we're going to download Zip. Once you download Zip, it's going to start downloading here. I'm going to cancel that because I don't need it. I already have it. Make sure you send that to the folder that you know where it's at. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to go into OBS Studio and drag out the shortcut. You should know how to do this. If you're watching this video, you're probably tech savvy enough to know how to make a desktop shortcut. If not, I'm sure there's tutorials online somewhere. Once you have your secondary OBS shortcut, uh, on your desktop, what we're going to do is we're going to right click it, go into properties, and you're going to have this long bar right here. As soon as you click properties on that shortcut, it says target, C backup, etc., whatever it says, and it's going to stop right here. This is what your entire target is going to look like. If you leave it like this, you're not going to be able to launch a separate OBS window. It's going to stay simultaneous with your existing OBS window. Um, to have a second iteration of OBS active, what we're going to do is we're going to put our cursor at the end of .exe. And I'll even show you here. I'll, I'll get rid of this. We're going to select the very end of this target where it says parentheses. And we're going to hit our space bar. So we have a space in between where the parentheses is. We're going to select dash, dash, portable. Again, put your cursor at the end of where the uh, 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 parentheses are. Spacebar, dash, dash, and those dashes are next to the zero on your, on your keyboard. And then type the word portable. Once you have that, you're going to click apply, and then, then you'll be good to go. Once you click apply, it's going to ask you a slew of questions such as what's this going to be used for? Streaming, recording, etc. Just click OK, just set it as default, and you'll be set up and good to go. Once you do that, it's going to open up your new OBS iteration that's going to look a lot like this. It's going to be minimized. It's going to be like this, and you'll actually be able to have two OBSs up. The reason that this works is because it's telling the file itself that you want a windowed version of it, and this allows 
it, uh, it's in your computer to communicate two different pathways for your OBS. So you have your portable one, which is dash dash portable, and you have your traditional one. This is the one you already have for Twitch. And again, if you don't use Twitch, then just download OBS and then follow the, the, the steps I'm about to show you. Okay. So now that you have your OBS, it's going to be a big uh, a black square over here. It's probably going to be asking you to connect Twitch or multi-stream, YouTube, whatever, right? I'm now going to show you how to configure your brand new portable OBS window uh, to stream on TikTok. Now that we have our portable OBS window created, we're going to get it all set up to look and be ready for our TikTok assets that we're going to use. So um, you do need a general understanding of OBS to move forward within the video. I recommend there's lots of great OBS tutorials on YouTube. This is going to be more for the people who are uh, Twitch streamers who kind of know how to use OBS. This is going to be pretty simple, guys. Okay, so we do have our Twitch OBS here. This is our TikTok OBS. We're going to go into settings and head on over to video and where it says 1920 by 1080. We are going to plug in 1080 by 1920. This is going to be the size of a camera, like a cell phone camera. And then for output scaled resolution, 1280 by 720. And Linkso says the downscaling filter. And then for the FPS, we're going to set to 30, not 60 for right now. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and apply that. And that's what this is going to turn into. It's going to be like it's just the right size for a TikTok live stream um, that you're going to need. We're not done with the settings just yet, though. Um, after we do video, the audio all stays the same. For output, it needs to look more or less like this for your just, just to get the maximized performance. Uh, switch this from simple to advanced and then just plug in these numbers. You can take a screenshot now if you would like, but 2,500 is as high as you're gonna be able to go with the method I'm gonna show you. Uh, preset from max quality to max performance. Profile set to high. Check both of these, zero and two. Um, the last thing you're gonna need is the stream section, but you don't have a stream key yet for this, so we're just gonna forget about that. Now let's look at all of the assets that we're gonna need to set up to get our TikTok live stream going. So we have our OBS portable created and the settings configured. It's time to plug in our sources. One more time, this isn't an OBS tutorial, so you guys need to have a general understanding before moving forward with this section, okay? Um, the great thing about this portion is that if you already have a Twitch stream, YouTube stream, etc., set up with all of these sources, they're gonna be transferable over into your your new OBS and they can work simultaneously together without overlapping. So like audio won't overlap, video, etc. You can use all of them except for one, which we'll get to here in just a second. So first up, um, if you're on single PC, display capture will work. It'll show you um, your, your, your computer's display, which will be good enough. But if you're on dual PC like me, you're gonna wanna use your Elgato capture um, for this, which is video capture device and your Elgato. So this is my stream or my gaming PC rather. Uh, information here so we have this and you can make that as big as you want a lot of the times people like it about this size you can set that up just like that okay uh, next up we're gonna want audio right so let's go ahead and add our microphone first again this is just existing microphone source that exists uh, with my PC same thing with the, the, the gameplay too right so this is the same thing as uh, this which is just my gaming PC Easy peasy, right? So they're all just happening and working together at the same time. You can see my microphone going up and down, microphone going up and down. They're both working. They're not overlapping or anything. Uh, next up, we have our uh, uh, audio, which would be just your desktop audio if you're single PC or if you're a dual PC, you're going to have um, a Go XLR with your broadcast stream mix. So that's what I have. So if I played music, my music will play here and my music will play here as well. Hopefully my mu my video doesn't get copyrighted just from playing that small bit of music, but we, that remains to be seen. Um, and so here we are guys, we have our desktop stream game audio, we have our video and we have our microphone. What are we missing? We're missing a camera. So this is the one thing I was telling you that does not transfer over. If you only have a webcam or a DSLR, this webcam will not transfer from this, from your Twitch OBS to your portable OBS. So you do need a second webcam. I have a second webcam right here. They're both the same camera, but it's two different cameras, if that makes sense. So like they're both C922s, but I have two separate cameras. So one's here and one's here. So I have two cameras. If you don't have a second camera, don't worry about it. Um, if you don't want it, you don't, I, I, I think people would rather just see the gameplay anyway over just like your cell phone set up next to you. So just make your gameplay super big and, and that'll be good enough until you, you get it. You either buy a camera or you even just say, you know, frick it, you know, just whatever, just, just run your gameplay. So that's what I would do if I didn't have a second camera is I would just get a setup like this 
Um, and then there's some other cool stuff you can do too. So what I do is I add text within OBS. So you see like my Twitch text here to get viewers in from my TikTok over to my Twitch with my link in the bio. And I also add a cropped uh, game capture as well that shows my kills when I'm in Call of Duty. So that's always fun too. You can do nice little fun stuff. I even have my like stream alerts muted over here that, that it shows the animation. I don't recommend this though. It's kind of extra and, and you don't need it at all. So um, don't even really recommend this. I just say keep it simple. P players or, or viewers rather just want to see your gameplay. And so now you have all of your assets set up and ready to go. Now that we have our OBS all set up and all of our assets inside of it, it's time to get this stuff streamed to TikTok. Now without our TikTok stream key, how do we do it? This is the portion of the video I would imagine the majority of you guys are here to see. Um, and so how we do that is a third party service called Lula.tv. Um, this service allows you to have OBS send it information and then plugging in your TikTok, it then streams on to uh, TikTok for you. Now, just as a disclaimer that this is a paid subscription service, so I think you have to pay 20 to $25 a month to get it to run like decent enough uh, FPS and everything that it's even viable. Um, so that is just something to, to keep in mind. I think it's worth it. I did it for months prior to getting my own TikTok stream key. This video is not sponsored by Lula. I've never communicated or talked to them. It's just the only website that I know where you can do this. So that's completely up to you. But if you decide to move forward, here is how you get it set up. So we're going to get started. And for the purposes of the video, I've logged out and disconnected all of my stuff. So you make a, a, um, an account. I have mine already preset to be logged in with Google. So we're going to just do that connect that here you don't have to do this um I i'm just gonna do it because whatever so now that we're logged into lula here is your lula dashboard that's gonna have everything um that you're gonna need for it okay so here is where you connect all your socials which you're only gonna need tiktok down here is where you set your uh tiktok stream title and uh and then here's your settings cogwheel over here so first up before we do anything what we need to do is get this set up and connected to TikTok. So think of this as the middleman between TikTok and your OBS. So let's get it set up to TikTok. How do we do that? Let's go to settings and let's connect it here. I use my email address and then I sign in with my password, which obviously is going to be uh, hidden for the purposes of the video. If you can't sign in with your email, try your phone number. And, uh, and if, you, if the phone numbers have given you a hard time, there's, there's articles within Lula that are helpful and there's other YouTube videos too. This part could be a little tricky. I heard that turning off 2FA on your TikTok has helped people. So maybe turn off your two-factor if you're having trouble logging in. But assuming you get to this point, you've logged in with your TikTok into Lula and you obviously have your Lula account. So we're almost there, guys. All we have to do now is connect OBS to Lula. How do you do that? Going back to your uh, Lula dashboard, um, we're actually missing a piece of information here. And admittedly, this is a pretty poor website design on Lula's part. You need to have these little options that say uh, RTMP and webcam up here. If I refresh, you see them. Webcam, RTMP, and then boom, they're gone. Refresh again. You could do this unlimited amount of times. Keep refreshing. But we need to click RTMP. Okay? So just go back in the video if you have a hard time with that. Basically, just keep refreshing and click RTMP. Once you do that, here is your RTMP and your stream key guys this is what you've been waiting for this is what you need take your rtmp server come over here to tiktok and you're going to go into settings once you're in settings go to stream and then plug in your lula uh server key and then apply and then here we're going to go into stream key and then we're going to apply and now our tiktok is linked to lula and our lula is linked to twitch and we're almost there guys okay so now we're going to go start streaming on your OBS. This does not mean that you're streaming on TikTok yet, okay? What that's going to do is it's going to send this OBS stream to the Lula website. So let's go back over to Lula. You see it here? We are going to refresh in any second now because there is like about a 30 to 60 second delay on the Lula servers, meaning that you're gonna, your stream is going to be on a perpetual 30 to 60 second delay on Lula. It should populate our stream now give it just and here we go our obs stream is connected to lula now this can be kind of finicky sometimes you have to like refresh it a bunch of times in order to get it to work um but guys we are connected and logged in with our obs like you can see how delayed it is right like here and then i'm here it's pretty delayed and your tiktok chat will come up right here as you um as you get going okay so that's pretty much it. We have it all connected. Once I click this go live button, I will be live on TikTok as long as I'm connected with TikTok, which you'll know if you are because when you go into settings, it will uh, show you here. So just like that, guys, we are ready to press go live and start our very first uh, TikTok live stream 
from OBS. So I wanted to show you guys the subscription to Lula and how to apply for your TikTok stream key before the video ended. So here we go. Um, basically, the free version of Lula is pretty worthless because you only get three hours per month and you get like no resolution. So what you have to do is you have to pay the 19 a month that I did for like two or three months prior to getting my stream key. Um, and that gives you the 720 and 60 frames and unlimited streaming, which is what you're going to need. Um, so I know earlier on in the video, I told you that you had to do 30 frames. That was I think that was wrong. You could probably do 60. Um, so you could just reset that and uh, and then just do your output scaled resolution as high as possible. And if it's too high, the blue level will stop you and say, hey, lower it down. So just go as high as possible. So I want to apologize that that portion of the video wasn't perfect, but uh, but I just did like the best that I could on that one. And um, in terms of how to apply for your TikTok stream key, guys, I'm going to have a link in the description right at the very top of the description that you guys can apply for. It's basically the Streamlabs site that uh, that tells you that it's to request access to live streaming. Please fill out this Google form. So once you click this, it brings you to this. And all you do is you put in your email and your TikTok username and then you submit it. You can do this unlimitedly. Uh, and I did it once a week for a month and eventually I got my key. Granted, TikTok's probably looking for certain requirements to hit your stream key. So I don't know what those are because they don't talk to us um, and mine just showed up one day so i would just keep doing this and bug them until you get one okay guys i hope this information was useful to you if it was make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video